What's up guys, this is Rag Shade and welcome to the channel again. Uh, this is gonna be a longer video because this is gonna be the first tier list on the channel. Uh, character tier list. Uh, general character tier list. Not only related to specific things, okay? Uh, just a disclaimer before we start. Uh, I'll probably put in the title top 1 SA player because, you know, to draw more attention. Uh, I'm not the strongest uh, SA player right now, but I say I'm the top one because I'm always top one on Crusade. Crusade is the only uh, content in the game that is uh, server-wide. So, if I'm the first one always, I'm the top one player <laughs> in the SA server. Okay? I think this is enough. And actually, to be honest, I always get the top damage here which don't don't make me the top player because it's zone even though I, I'm stronger than every other zone but people in other zones don't need to push as hard as I do because uh, Shinsuke really push hard sometimes this time he just gave up but I always push hard okay <laughs> so anyways uh, as this is gonna be a long video, I'll ask you guys right at the start, please, if you like the channel, if you're coming back to the channel, leave a like before we start, this is gonna be a long video, uh, if you're new, if you just dropped here now, subscribe to the channel, we have a lot of content for top players, for uh, top content in the game, meta stuff, and uh, I try to, to bring a lot of uh, knowledge for you guys, okay? Uh, so, let me just get the point here, alright, uh, and this tier list I, I made and I will be updating it, uh, this was the, the best I could think of to show the character and the, the faction, uh, if you guys want to use this, this tier list for videos or anything, you can use just search for right shade SFD on tier maker and you will get to it, okay? <coughs> it's uh, it's uh, ordered by by name, so we'll just go by, by the order and we change things at the end. I'll just go through every character and at the end I'll do some nitpicking and, and adjusting, okay? So, Abel. Uh, we have here uh, God. God tier will be the characters that excels and are meta in almost every single aspect of the game. Character is meta in PvP. He's meta in boss. He's meta in challenges. He's meta everywhere. These characters will be God tier. There's not gonna be much. Uh, you probably no one character that's gonna be there for sure and it's not bison not anymore in my opinion so let's go Abel Abel uh, used to be uh, a character that people neglected a lot everyone used him but no one maxed him out but actually Abel maxed out is a really really strong tank in the game uh, I just not put him on double S because I think he's not the strongest. F not yeah, maybe, maybe he is the strongest factional tank in the game, in my opinion. Not because not just because of tanking, but because of new characters. Summer Alina made Abel a beast, so yeah, he's gonna be the first double S character here. Uh, Athlete Chun Li, she used to be the uh, our third option for healing support in the game. Right now, I'm gonna say she she's not an ass anymore. In my opinion, she she would have been ass if uh, it was before Summer Lina launched. Right now, I'd put her 
on A just because it's so much resources and I don't think she she should be priority to, to pull. So too much resources and you you are probably going for Summer Alina anyways and she she's gonna sit there and and not not be used as much as she would before. But still she she has pretty decent damage. Aiden. Mm. Aiden is complex. I'd say he's C or D, C or D. I'd put him on C. If you are crazy enough to FS30 him, he he increases your damage by a little bit, but not not a good character. He doesn't provide everything that you need. Uh, so right now she is a C. Akuma. I'd say Akuma is bottom S or top A. I put him here for now, okay? Top A, because to be to really shine, you need him uh, at least with red stars or so power 80. This is a lot of investment, and you you, you need to spend a lot on him to to get him to this point. I don't think. She, she, he, she not. He, he is really useful in bosses. He's kind of useful in PvP, but uh, before you get him to to so power 80, he's actually not that good. But when you get him to 80 or to 100, he becomes a beast. So top A right now. Uh, Bison, Bison is top tier double S for sure. Still one of the strongest characters in the game. Uh, one of the strongest tanks, which is not a tank, but he's really strong, he should be there, he's a good character. Blanca, uh, for now I'll leave Blanca at B. He's not a bad character, don't get me wrong, but you kinda need... Uh, he, he's too RNG heavy, that's, a, that's my problem with him. It's a good character, but he's RNG heavy to get those... those Nice interrupts on, on the enemy, but for now I'll leave him at B. Beast Zane, also, for me he and Bison are top top tier double S. Beast Zane Gif is really important for challenges, for for towers, and he he must be and also for PvP. He's really really important for PvP. Uh, he's a character you need to have. On the game at some point, okay? Kemi, uh, Kemi, Kemi, Kemi. I kind of like uh, her assist, but as there's a lot more characters in the game right now, I don't think she should be a priority. I don't think she can do so well. Some people still use her on bosses, but for me, it's top B. Top B. Almost A. Let's see at the, at the end, but for now, top B. Uh, Charming Dudley. Charming Dudley is bottom B for me. Not not a really bad character, but also not good. Uh, for him to shine, I was talking to Yancha on Discord earlier. I was speaking on him for <laughs> for wanting to, to FS30 him. But to be honest, it's not a bad character. It's, it's just not meta, but... You can use him. He he provides extra damage to the team for for single single target bosses. Uh, just you you don't you 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 want to invest this these stones on better characters, in my opinion. If you if you're seeking for top for top rankings, uh, combat guy, combat guy for me is also on B tier. He's not that bad. Uh, but actually, the only place you probably use him is on on tower, Thunder Tower, and also I use him a lot as assist. His assist is pretty good for PvP and for some bosses, specific bosses from events. Okay, where you want to to, to dispel the boss, it's really really good. Uh, regular Chun, the first S, she is incredible. She is really good. Provides a lot of of energy uh, 
she 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 has a lot but she she's kind of uh, a jack of all trades she's not she doesn't have, doesn't have good damage she doesn't have the best speed she doesn't have the best anything but she's good at everything you can put her in any team and she will help you okay and she's a good uh, c3 for teams that don't have uh, a damaging c3 if you want to use akuma for for example he, she's good with him okay and she's useful in a lot of bosses uh, with her six cars she's useful in multiple in multiple stages as well i'm using i'm actually using her as a dps on, on challenges right now on the stages because I need five teams and she she's doing well she's doing her job so I leave her on S uh, Dante I put Dante on mid to low A right now he is a really really good interruption for PvP annoying but again RNG the only problem I have with him is first he obviously obviously was uh, uh, oh my god, I forgot a word. Uh, oh. He, he's not from Street Fighter. I, I forgot the word. Oh my god. Uh, collab. He was a collab. And you, you will not be getting him again soon. So if you don't max it him out, I got him to S. Bad decision. <laughs> but anyways, he... he my problem with him is this, and he doesn't work well with his transformation. His transformation is trash. He's good using his super and maybe his C2, okay? The capper, also C tier in my opinion. Uh, my problem with her is that she doesn't have enough damage to, to do the execution that she was supposed to do. She... She doesn't do enough damage for, the, for this, she's not fast enough to be a, a speed character for a team and she also doesn't have uh, much life, so she dies easily. And now we get to the first, in my opinion, god tier character in the game, Dawson. Dawson proved himself to be the beast. He is being used everywhere. He's been used in challenges, towers, bosses, not so much in PvP, but he can be used in PvP with the right team, okay? So this character is incredible. Dos, in my opinion, the first uh, god tier character in the game right now. I, I think I, you just see the, the, videos on, the videos on my channel. I don't need to talk much about him, he is incredible, okay? <laughs> DJ. Mm. I'd say DJ is on the top, uh, actually, here, here, he's a bit here, he's not C. Uh, at FS20, he gets one of the highest attack, attack stats bonus in the game. Not damage bonus, attack bonus. This is really different. Uh, attack provides uh, more damage for things like burn, bleed. Damage don't provide bonus to these uh, special conditions, so he's really good paired with Dawson, but we still wasn't able to get a good uh, team with him. Also because it's hard to maintain his shield and to maintain his buff uh, through enough time, okay? So for me, now he is mid bit here, okay? Uh, Divine Rose too much effort, you need too much investment for her and she won't pay for it. That's that's the truth. Don't get her. Don't don't, don't go for her. She she's not good. You you won't be using her. Uh Dudley, regular Dudley. I think he is a really strong character for PvP and you can use him on some stages as well. Uh I'll I'll be making I'll be probably building uh, Dudley sometime because he's my favorite character from Street Fighter series uh, and I, I think she, he's really good actually. 
uh, his passive and his uh, his cars works pretty well and he is a really good pair with uh, Nero he's really good with Nero because Nero silence can trigger his cars this, this is big so when I get him I'll, I'll show you guys okay Alina regular Alina in my opinion she is high A tier right now for two reasons uh, she got outshined by our support in the game and uh, her FS30 ends up being bad because you provide damage okay but she exposes herself a lot so she will end up dying on PvP on bosses it's not worth it not worth uh, going for her FS30 which is sad uh, if she had a damage reduction or even invincibility like her counterpart, Summer, Summer Lina, she would be great, but not right now. She she ended up killing herself. Uh, El Fuerte, I didn't test him yet enough to tell if he's really good or really bad. In my opinion, uh, from what I've I've seen and what I've used him on some trials and seeing people use him, I, I think he's a high B tier or even A to be honest because it's a character that gives a lot of of debuffs. He gets he can give armor break and it's area damage. His C two is area damage as well and bleeds. It's I, I'll need to test him, but. Right now, from the little times I use him and seen him be used, it's here. Evil Ryu, double S, big character, very good. Uh, he used to be my priority character uh, for for special summons before Summer Lina and Goken were announced. Uh, but in any case, I'd suggest I highly suggest you to get him A at least you need him A to use him in bosses and do pretty good in bosses with him okay so yeah good character he, he resets he's good for PvP he's good for challenge he's not that good for challenges but can be used and he provides a good buff to the team he's almost there on the on the top tier for me but not yet. And Fashion Blanca. Fashion Blanca is obviously God tier. Uh, I'll tell you why. Uh, he is a staple character on flame teams for bosses. He is really good for PvP. He's really good for challenges. He's really good for tower. He's good everywhere. He's not the best. He's never the, the main damage of the team. He's never the 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 main head of the team, but he is always there. He is useful, he is free. Incredible character. Just can't say anything more than that. Flame Chun! If you don't have her, you're probably not uh, uh, fighting for the top spots on bosses right now. She is incredible. Uh, just a second, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, about Flame Chun. She is really important for bosses. If you don't have her, you're probably not uh, fighting for top spots in bosses right now. Uh, which is sad because she is a pay to win character. But uh, you can easily get to top 10 uh, being free to play. But if you have at least one person in your zone with Flame Chun and the person knows how to play, you're not uh, gonna be able to get the top one spot for him. Never. Okay? The, this is the truth. Really, really strong character. Her assists, I... For some time I thought it was good, but not really. She doesn't have a good assist. It's a lot of... It's RNG heavy and... It's not enough to be good. <laughs> okay, Phelan. I'd put Phelong on A. 
He is one of the best assists for the best team in the game, which is the the flame team. And he's actually a good character, a good support character to use on a flame team. If you if you're using a total flame team, he he must be there. Okay? Good character. Just nothing much to talk about it. Uh, Fashion Ken. Actually, good character. Uh, if you guys seen my my video on on the Trial of Fire, the Max and Gif, he performed better than Dawson. I'd say that right now, before we we have more characters to play around him to give him more stacks, uh, he is right now the autoplay Dawson because Dawson you need to do stuff to make him work. You need to work his stacks. With Ken, you just build flame chan stacks and strike with his C3, and he will do the damage. Okay, you can see the my my Max and Gif video. He performed really well. He is a good character. Uh, Everyone thought he was gonna be better, but right now he's just on us. Maybe new characters get him up, okay? Uh, Fashion Sakura. Uh, it's a good assist character, and that's all. <laughs> no one uses her on the team right now. She she's actually decent, but not good. That's that's the truth. And I got her just for the speed she provides for Ken on the links. That's it. And actually, her assist is pretty good. Her, F her FS plus 5 is really good. Ken. Ken. Uh, tough one. It's a fun character. He was, at the start of the game, a good uh, bossing character, but right now. No, not that good. Not that good. It, there, there's a lot more characters that do what he does. He can be used on challenges or PvP, but he's not the kind of character that you will want to be investing. Okay, there's better options. Uh, but his double S, uh, FS5, to get him to assist other characters is actually pretty decent because you have. Uh, you have a dummy on the back of your team to tank some damage, some back damage from your team. It's good. But aside of that, he's not being used anymore as much. Gouken. This character is top tier double S for me as well. He's almost uh, higher than than these guys for me, to be honest. I, I, I'd put something like this, actually. Actually, he is higher than Bison for me right now. Because let me see, you, let me tell you why. Because Bison is a character that uh, provides uh, longevity to the team. He keeps uh, coming back and doing a lot of damage uh, while your team is still alive. Gouken gives two lives to your DPS. This is crazy. This is this is pretty big. And on bosses, on challenges, on PvP, he's really good. But I wouldn't put him on the god tier for now. Because just f right now he's not god tier just because of bossing. Uh, same for Bison. Same for Bison. Uh, Bison is useful and can be used in some bosses, but he's not a staple character on every boss team. You know, Gouken is the same. Uh, and that's why I keep him in the last as well. Gaio. Gaio for me is also a nice character. Uh, good character. Uh, you will probably need him to get through the stages. He's really, really good for stages and for tower. Uh, get outshined by Dawson at the end game, at the later stages, especially in tower. But he's a good character. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just a good character. You just need him to FS30. Her, his cards are good, but not necessary. FS30 is what you want from him to be big. Okay, guy, guy is a good character. 
not the best, he would be around here. His C2 is actually good, but you know, there's better C2s to use right now. Uh, if you don't have Nero, for example, I'd be probably running Guy on a lot of teams because the C2 that buffs the C3 is actually pretty big. Uh, I think that Nero took his spot because he buffs the team, he tanks, and his C2 actually does some decent damage. So for me, uh, he should be a replacement, sometimes a replacement for Nero on bosses, but that's it. N not a bad character. Actually, I I'd probably put him around here, to be honest, like, like this. He is top B, almost A, in my opinion. Honda. Honda is great tank. Great tank, really good. Uh, kind of immortal, you get him to FS20, uh, he's already big. He got a bullet wall, nothing much to talk about him. And you can also use him in stages to use his C1 and stun and interrupt the characters. Really good, really good. Ugo. Not a B, uh, C, uh, but he is not as bad as these other two, in my opinion. Uh, but you know, if you need desperately uh, a fire tank, you end up needing to use him. But not not really good. Johnny Buki. This character, if you seen my last video, the boss rush video. This character is growing in my heart. She is taking good places. And I've also had good experimentation with her in PvP. Depending on the team that you use, you can use her to snipe the, the tech character that comes from the enemy. And she's been... She's been really good. Uh, every time I use her, I feel like there's something new to to experiment with her. She She's a really good character. Really good, really good. And, again, she's oh. good in PvP, she's good in bosses. The dog is barking, but <laughs> she's good in PvP, she's good in bosses. So, I, I think she's just not that good in, in challenges at towers, but in PvP and bosses, she, she will shine, for sure. Jury. Jury, from my opinion, is... She, she has the same idea as Gan, but she is a little higher, in my opinion. She should be around here. Uh, not very good character right now. Uh, her assist is good. You get more attack for the character, you you steal attack from the enemy and if you have her maxed out uh, her c3 is really good really really good so that's it she's not so useful for now makoro uh, i'd say top c tier she's not a good character you need so much fort to to time her c2 you you end up missing all the time. You it, it's better to try getting the damage done than trying to interrupt with her. Bad character, but she thinks she's a tank. She's not, and she's on the front. So sometimes you need uh, <laughs> you need the demon on the front to die for your team. So that that that's her use. Uh, uh, Mayor Cody. Mayor Cody is probably. Kinda same as Fei Long, but uh, I'd put him on B because uh, his assist is incredible for bosses, really good assist for bosses. Uh, but uh, aside from that, you won't be using him for much, actually. Mummy Dawson, Mummy Dawson should be here on mid A. Uh, his C2 is actually really good. 
you you get can get some good damage and if you had a fast 30 you can get some good poison with him as well he he stacks the poison really really better if you have a fast 30 but still uh, not as not as good as we thought he would be uh, so good character good damage on c2 uh, but the poisons don't stack as much as you want them to stack mm, mh can gormagala uh, he's probably s double s as well good character uh, good passive he he's the, the the definition of an all-rounder in this game he he can be used everywhere uh, not the best but he can be used everywhere uh, good triggers damage he, he can net some big damage on some bosses on some challenges uh, and uh, his passive to bring from the FS to bring the character on the field is actually big this helps a lot on challenges to have the four enemy characters on the field so you can hit everyone okay Mad Ryu uh, for me he is low A tier really really low almost B just you, you end up using him as assist for Bison he is the step of Bison assist on most teams and he is really useful on the Thunder Tower as well Nero Nero is high high double S in my opinion he is the best tank in the game uh, that actually tanks because Goken is a tank with utility uh, if you if you count Goken as a tank with two lives because he comes back he ends up being better but Nero tanks more damage than Goken actually he, he's really strong he provides a good damage buff for the team with his cars and provides a good parry buff for the team as well so very good good in pvp good in some bosses good in challenges he also had silence which is big and when the the, the the stage is not bugged you can interrupt with his c1 so good character oni i've seen only destroy uh teams in pvp uh, he is one of the best characters for multi 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 bosses he's incredible really 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 strong character uh, i don't have mine yet but i'll be using him uh, the only problem i have with him is he's really squishy he don't have good health and defense sets okay uh, poison Poison, in my opinion, is here side by side with Ryu. Uh, she's a good character. She can silence on her super, but her super damage is really lackluster. Uh, you don't don't want to use her super most of the times because the damage is really bad, really bad damage on her, on her super. And her C3 is pretty good, pretty good, decent, but. For silence and a good C3, I put her here. And she is totally uh, higher than Ryu. Actually, uh, I put her right here. A little lower than Dawson. I still think Dawson is a better character to help you climb the, the Thunder Tower. Okay? Rose. Rose is a big support. One of the best supports in the game. She, she ends up tanking herself because of her passive uh, she provides damage bonus she provides uh, healing not so much but a little bit of healing she's really good if you don't have her she should be a character you try to get at least from the from the token shop okay she's good so that again double s really good character uh, he's really useful on PvP, on bosses, and on uh, on challenges. I just don't put him on God tier because he's not the best. He's not the meta 
everywhere and he's divination character divination characters are kind of harder to get than special ticket characters to be honest most of the time uh, but he's a pretty good character I, I use him on Animoi Crusade every time I use him uh, on some bosses as well different bosses on events probably Juni Ibuki will be replacing him on most bosses on events, just not Animoi because I need him from anim for Animoi. But that's it. F from now he's here. He and also he tanks a lot. He has like five healths. Insane, insane character. And for the third uh, god character in the game. Yeah. Just a second, guys. Sorry, I didn't want to cough on your ears. <laughs> uh, Summerlina. Summerlina is incredible. She took the spot of the best support in the game. Uh, she had invincibility to cheese some bosses. She, 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 she gets insane amount of damage boost to the team, attack boost to the team, uh, healing, defense, stun immunity, interruption immunity, effect resistance, oh my god, what this character don't do, she don't do damage, that's the only thing she, she doesn't do, because she's a support, but after we found out how to use her, she's now the top priority in my opinion for special special summons okay and she's a must-have character for everyone uh, imagine a thing more broken than a support character that don't need to be used she's automatic she's trigger this okay I don't need to talk much about her she's she's incredible uh, obviously she needs at least double S to be useful but not useful, but to be to be good. Double S FS30, she's already incredible. Uh, triple S six cards, she's insane. That's that's how it goes. Okay. Uh, summary bookie. Uh, I'd say she's kind of top S tier. She is, in my opinion, a worst <laughs> MH can. She have better damage than him to be honest, but sometimes you miss her C2 and this ends up lowering her damage a lot and she doesn't provide much more than damage, she's just damage. Good, good for PvP, good for challenges, but uh, not, not as good for bosses and She's not as good as MH can, but she's actually really good. This is why she's on top S, in my opinion. But not double S yet. Street Poison. Street Poison for me is here. Uh, S, S, S support. Uh, the, the thing is, people tend to use her wrong. I, I always say this. Uh, you can't use her with a character that uses super and c3 and you end up losing her stacks she's not a character to be used on auto as well so you won't be using her on pvp she's not good for pvp she's she can be used but she's not she's never the best option okay because you never have uh, her stacks to go up you only have one stack or two if you're lucky but the thing is she is not a character for it so i put her here good damage and she is the queen of the speed teams for bossing okay so that's it good character uh summer yang summer yang in my opinion is the best factional support in the game right now uh he provides healing he provides damage buff he provides uh shield and he's factional, so really good character, you, you end up using him a lot in a lot of places. Uh, if Elena 
had her her FS32 buff the damage without killing herself, going to the front of the team and killing herself, she would probably be around here with him, to be honest. Because right now she only provides healing. Okay? Trendy Kami. Trendy Kami is a good damaging character. Now we have a lot of uh, uh, different uh, characters to use with her and provide the the shock she needs. You can use her with the new Dawson, which is the, the next character we're talking about. Uh, Trendy Kami is good. Her damage is still pretty high for bosses. Not as good for for challenges and tower, and actually not a good character for PvP, but she's good, she's, she's not bad. Trini Dawson, this character, I still don't know what to do with this character, because on Trials he looks insane for the shield, not for the super and not for the C2, for the shield, his C1 looks crazy crazy on on the trials if you don't if you don't don't saw it go to my to my video uh, doing his trials and you will see how his shield looks broken there but I didn't test him yet M mine I don't have a trendy dosing for myself to test so I can't say he's insane just for it Ibuki, I already tested her, I have her, I'm using her, she's incredible. Him, not yet. When when I have more information, I move him in the list, okay? T-Hawk, bug mechanics, he doesn't work. Bad character, that's it. <laughs> Vega, Vega should be probably around here. He is a good boss character, uh, not very good for PvP, uh, not the best for challenges in PvE as well, but he used to be the best character for bosses before the Dawson Summer Lena team. So he is really good, he is a good character. Uh, kinda similar to Akuma in a way, but he doesn't have so power, so a, a little easier to, to accomplish. And yet he can be the fastest character in the game. So if I'd say, oh, uh, full linked and FS40 Vega, I'd put him here. No, <laughs> but not, not here, but probably here. But yet I, I'm talking... Uh, uh, human, humans here, not uh, Krakens, okay? <laughs> uh, Virgil, Virgil is actually really good. If if we use his uh, Yax alongside with his character, he would be here probably. But just the character, really good. Uh, kind of bugged. The, the way he works, the transformation works, is a little bug, but is a really strong character. Not very good for bossing, but really, really, really good for PvP and for challenges. Okay, and his assist is broken. You revive your character and keep him alive. It's broken. Really good. Viper. Yes, another uh, God tier character. Viper is everywhere. She is insane, now that she has so power she is even more insane <laughs> and she can be used in bossing, there is a lot of teams involving her, she can be used in PvP, she must be used in PvP because she is crazy with so power 100 and she is also incredible in uh, challenges and tower, she is great. I probably do like this, okay? Uh, with jury, still not able to get good stuff with her, but I'll put her on S tier just because her assist is incredible, incredible. Her assist is really, really good. I thought it was 
it was gonna be good, but I didn't think it was gonna be that good. This this makes uh, Viper teams on bosses a lot better because if you time it right, you can use Viper Super uh, and survive an entire boss uh, multi hit. You know, really good, really really good. Yang, the the bad brother. <laughs> Yang is probably here uh, alongside with Fei Long because of his assist. His assist is really, really good, really, really important for a lot of bosses, and you, you get bars, you know, so really good assist. Yan, on the other hand, on my opinion, is a really good character as well. He is as fast as Beast Zangief when he gets to FS uh, 25 uh, and full cars, and he can be used with Beast Zangief as an assist to outspeed completely another Beast Zangief. So this is really good, good PvP character, and his assist is also really, really good. Uh, using both brothers as assists uh, has become a step on some bosses because they they provide a lot of uh, super super combo gauge, and it ends up being really, really good. So good, good characters, uh, and Zangief. Probably around here. Hmm. Which one I think is better, Abel or Zangief? I I'd say they are like the same, because Abel provides the shield for the team, which is uh, really good for some teams, and Zangief has a pretty special uh, trait that no other characters have in the game right now which is uh, nullifying passives. He's the only character that does this in the game. Uh, this is really big for most reasons. He can nullify Bison, he can nullify Gouken, he can nullify uh, Abel. Uh, he, really good, really good character, to be honest. So, uh, this is it for now. Let's take a look and see if I want to change anything. Okay guys, let's go with the adjustments. I had to stop the video yesterday, but we are continuing today. Uh, forgot here, uh, taking a look here, uh, actually Dossin and Elena are the top characters in the game in my opinion, but I would put Dossin higher a little bit just because he is a factional character and Elena is a special ticket character. But Elena start working at double SFS 30 she's already pretty pretty strong uh, ev everyone else here just belongs to their places so every character here at the god tier are really really strong characters so th there's nothing much to change there okay uh, double S I still feel like Bizen is almost uh, god tier. These three characters right here, actually, uh, these four characters, uh, Bizen, Gouken, Bison, and Nero are really, really close to being god tier, but they lack a little bit on on certain uh, contents. For example, you don't use Gouken everywhere on on bosses. Uh, sometimes you won't be using him, okay? But this can change. Same for Bizeng. He is the god of challenges, story mode, and tower, but he is ne almost never used on bosses, okay? And Bison, he is the jack of all trades. He may be used, maybe not, but he's strong everywhere, anyways. Just not meta on everything like this for right here, okay? Um, I'll be honest, uh, I feel like this order is pretty good. Uh, right here, uh, Sagat and Rose, I'd say uh, anyone you get from these two on Divinations are good, but Rose you can get her from the tokens, so you should focus getting her on tokens, actually. 
Abel and Zangief, uh, they are in the same place. Each one have their own uh, utilities. Uh, Abel has one of the strongest shields in the game, and Zangief has the unique ability to uh, shut down passives. Joni Ibuki, I, I, I'll move her. I'll actually move her. Uh, to be honest, uh, I will. Wasn't sure if she would be good on challenges, but after seeing some videos from QCKE from the Discord, shout out to him. And sorry if I'm <laughs> saying her name wrong, but she is actually really good on challenges as well. So I'll put her right here on the top because she is pretty good on bosses, she's pretty good on PvP, and she's pretty good on challenges as well. Uh, but as we don't have much experimentation with her yet, I will put the, let her stay here, okay? Uh, all these other characters, I feel like they are on a good position. Uh, MHK is a little higher than these two. Actually, I'll put MHK on here. He's a little higher because he is really strong uh, bringing characters from the tag to the front line. This is really, really strong. Uh, right here, actually, the only thing I might change here is the summer. Summer Ibuki is not that high. Uh, these three characters are really close to being double S in my opinion, uh, Gaio the most. Uh, but as he is really situational for bosses, I let him stay here for now. Okay. Uh, Honda actually can be higher as well because he's factional, he's a good tank uh, and maybe even a little higher than uh, with Jury. With Jury, I, I tried her a little bit today on boss rush and she actually performed really well on boss rush so she can do some damage on bosses as well she's not just an assist character okay uh, but as uh, Ian Dem Ian's assist is so so good, he will be staying here, okay? Uh, from A, actually, I, I'll be honest, I'd say uh, Akuma is side by side with Trendy Kami right now, actually. Uh, I was thinking about it uh, today and I feel like even though Akuma needs to be... Uh, at so power 80 to really shine he's a strong character anyways so i'll let him be on s tier uh a tier i feel like everything here is right maybe actually i'd put uh yang a little higher because we are priori whoa, prioritizing uh this uh energy characters, these battery characters, a lot more than damage characters on bosses right now, so I'd put Yang higher than Fei Long, okay? Mm. B tier. I, I feel like B tier is just as it is. Maybe just, uh, again, uh, let me talk really fast about Trendy Dawson. He is here just because I feel like he's strong, but I haven't tested him yet, so he's kind of uh, TBD, but I'll let him stay here right now, okay? El Fuerte, I, I didn't test him enough, but I feel like he can go higher as well. All the characters from B tier actually uh, can go higher probably if we have them fully maxed out, but that's the thing, you need to spend resources to make them shine, that's that doesn't, br doesn't bring me good joy. For example, Guy and uh, and Charming Dudley have similar uh, potential, but uh, Charming Dudley needs FS30 to be used, you know? So I, I don't like this that much. And of course, I need to test him a little more. Uh, Blanca. Blanca should be here. Just because he's uh, the only good applier for shock in C2 in the game, until we had Dawson to to enter the game. Now that we have Dawson, 
uh, Blanca dropped a little bit because Dawson applies a lot of shock on C2 and makes it outshines Blanca a little bit. So I feel like Blanca uh, got a little drop here because of Dawson, actually. Uh, he's still really good RNG for PvP because of his six cars, but uh, not as good as a lot of characters here. So I feel like he's okay on B tier. C tier are probably the characters you're gonna put the uh, the friendship ring on. I don't feel like using these characters will help you anywhere actually, but they can be max level on Budo. Uh, T-Hawk, for example, I don't even have him on Budo. I have A characters, S characters on Budo, but my T-Hawk, triple S, five stars is not in my Budo, you know? So, this tells you something. And Divine Rose, please don't divine for Rose. She is not worth it, okay? Unless you really love the character, but, you know, that's it. And I feel like the list is pretty good for my standards, guys. Uh, I feel like that's it. Uh, I'd love to to hear you guys' comments on the comment section about what you feel, if you feel or you think about the list, and give me your opinions. I'd love to see your opinions on the list, okay? Uh, and also probably having another list next month. Uh, so we can keep doing this with new characters, new uh, new interactions, maybe we find new things to do and this list can change, okay? Uh, another thing guys that I always tell in the end of the videos, uh, I have a PayPal donation button on the description if you guys want to donate and support the channel. Everything donated to this PayPal will be used to uh, get things on Street Fighter Duo to bring you guys more content because you know I, I don't have I'm not a whale so I don't have everything to test things and show everything for you guys because I don't have the money for it but everything donated to this paper will be used in the game okay to give you guys more content uh, and that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like leave a like subscribe to the channel uh, hit the notification bell to, to get uh, all the, the contents that we release. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.